electronic configuration of some atoms that is some ele element of the atoms and its representation now students how you are going to write down the electronic configuration of atoms first atom students the smallest in the periodic table is hydrogen element and atom is hydrogen electron when you see the electronic configuration students of hydrogens you, you should know the atomic number of hydrogen that is number of proton is 1 which is equal to the atomic number now students this hydrogen atom you are going to write the electronic configuration so here students you can write because it has only one electrons so it will go to the first orbit that is 1 s 1 this is the orbital this is called as orbital uh, and the symbol we are using that is called orbital notation okay students this is the orbital notation electronic configuration I have written if you want to write an orbital diagram orbital diagram students in orbital diagram so you have to use that symbol like this you can use circle as well as uh, box or you can use the circle like this so here students we are interested in box so you can put one electron so this is the one electron students so you have to fill the electron like this now students if you want to write down the electronic configuration of helium now atomic number is plus two that is plus two means two protons which is equal to number of atomic number now students electronic configuration students one is two okay students again it is the orbital notation okay so and what about what about uh, orbital diagram students orbital diagram how you are going to write so here two electrons you are going to so one will be like this other will be having opposite spin like this this is the electronic configuration of hydrogen which is the inert gas okay students now after that some other element we can take so say for example lithium lithium atomic number is plus three how your electrons are going to distribute in 1s2 and 2s1 so first ele two electron will go in the first orbit then th third electron will go in 2s orbit so 2s1 this is the orbital notation electron this is also correct orbital notation now students if you write down the orbital diagram so this is the 1s and this is what 2s okay students two electrons you have to fill like this one and per electron you have to fill like same way you can write down the electronic configuration beryllium atomic number is 4 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 okay students this is the orbital diagram orbital diagram so again i am not writing all this again and again you can understand now so this is the orbital notations electronic configuration orbital diagram students you can write like this beryllium electronic configuration two electron and this yes orbital can occupy maximum two electron now after that students you have got boron atomic number is plus five atomic number five electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 now fifth electron will go to the p orbitals right 2p1 p orbital can occupy maximum six electrons you are knowing all these things yes or no now students we are going to represent orbital diagram this one or s yes, orbital 2s orbital is also having one orbital only now it has p orbitals has three subcells okay students it is made up of three sub px py and pz correct now how we are going to distribute the electron students 1s2 2s2 2p1 here only one pair this is the way of representing the electronic configuration of boron after that students very most important element carbon atomic number is six students which is very important students electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 and 2p2 correct students this is the plus six uh, and here plus negative six that means these are the electrons which are negative charge so this way the elements are balanced in uh, ground state this is the ground state whatever uh, electronic configuration i am writing students these all are the ground state electronic configuration this is the orbital notation orbital diagram students in box form we can write like this okay students p orbital has three subcells px py and pz correct is correct students now this way you have to put the electrons here two electrons you have to uh, singly you have to put the electrons like this okay students this is the electronic configuration of carbon plus six or in orbital notation as well as orbital diagram form okay students same way you can write down the electronic configuration of nitrogen nitrogen atomic number is seven one s2 two s2 two p three orbital diagram students you can So 1s2, 2s2, and 1 1 electrons you are going to fill. This is you can here from this uh, electronic configuration you can write out the number of unpaired electrons. Now, students, because 
helium is uh, always having 1s2 so instead of uh, in condensed form you can also write the electronic configuration instead of 1s2 you can also write what helium helium which is the inert gas or electronic configuration in condensed form you can also write helium 2 2s2 and 2p3 this way you can also this which is called as condensed structure condensed orbital notation orbital orbital notation okay students now after that students means we are here we also we are going to see the electronic configuration of copper and chromium now students if you want to write the electronic configuration of chromium you should know the electronic number chromium is what chromium atomic number is 24 now students what will be the electronic configuration so students in condensed form we are writing organ organ which is the inert gas now how many electrons are left now you can substitute 24 minus 18 that means how much how much electrons will be going to be filled now we are going to fill the electrons so it will go to the 3d and 4s so students 4s out of uh, 24 minus 18 that means 6 electrons you are going to distribute in 3d and 4s so 2 electrons first it will occupy to the 4s orbitals now remaining remaining 4 electrons will go to the d orbitals this is the theoretical electronic configuration students when it form the compound students it is observed that now when you write down the uh, this is the orbital uh, notation now it means orbital diagram is 3d d orbital can occupy maximum 10 electrons it has got uh, 5 subcells ok it means uh, d orbitals now 4 electrons you are going to fill in the d orbitals so first you have to fill 1 1 electron in all subcells and here 4 s2 you can put like this this is the theoretical electronic configuration issue, but it is observed that when it form the compound issuance the chromium 24 electronic configurations was found like this 3d5 and this 4s1 it is become 4s2 becoming 4s1 this is the orbital notation now when you see students this is the more stable this electronic configuration when it form the compound it is more stable than this so what happens students this one electrons will jump to the inner orbital that is why it is also called as inner transition element students so what happens students you are getting total six unpaired electron here okay students so this is the more stable electronic configuration more because of the half field now here it is completely half field due to completely half okay students this is about the chromium okay students same thing is happening in students in uh, copper also copper students when you see the copper atomic number is 29 so students organ 18 that means you are going to distribute 3d and 4s electron remaining electron so how much students 29 minus 18 that is 11 electrons you are going to distribute in the 3d and 4s2 so 2 electron will go to the here 4s2 now remaining 9 electron will go to the 3d10 now when you write down the orbital diagram it shows 3d9 and 4s2 like this 9 electrons students here to fill like this first all the subcells are going to be single electron then the pairing will take place now here again it shows because of the full fill stability this electron will transfer to here so it shows this is the theoretical electronic configuration but when it is forming the compound students at that time copper 29 electronic configuration is becoming like this so 3d10 and this is my 4s1 okay students so orbital diagram students you can write like this five subcells and this is only one subcell so these are the electronic configuration of copper 29 when it is forming the compound this is more stable more stable electronic configuration configuration due to because why it is happening because of the full fill stability Patients, they want to complete their orbitals so this is the, uh, the difference in the chromium and copper the electronic configuration how it is vary from co copper 29 to uh, electronic configuration to this one this is the observed electronic configuration and this is the ideal electronic configuration so this is the observed electronic configuration found in the compound so students this is very important for the examination point students sometimes examination they are asking why copper is having this type of electron why more stable than the other element 
सो मच इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज शेयर सब्सक्राइब इट थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच